See what I mean, how they crawl up? Yeah, they're crawling all over the place. Oh. There are bees all oh. over, guys, all oh. over. Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Charles Show. Today I am hanging out in the Lone Star State with Clint Weaver at R. Weaver Apiaries, and we're gonna learn how they uh, raise queen bees. Hi, I'm Clint Weaver, uh, fifth generation beekeeper from Navasota, Texas. So you guys have been doing this since like 1888, right? Yeah, 130 years. 130 years their family has been raising bees <laughs> here in Texas. So you guys are like you guys are like bee cowboys, right? I guess so. I guess you, you, you wrangle you wrangle up the bee. You herd bees. Sure, bee wranglers. <laughs> so <laughs> behind we got a, a bunch of bees. Uh, what, are, what, what are you going to do with these bees? Today we're going to take this box of bees and show you how we raise queen bees. Awesome. So we're going to like go out. We're going to open up some hives. We're going to see all the steps of the we're process, gonna, right? We're going to make some very small hives that we raise queen bees in. We're gonna we'll make some new hives. We're gonna take you Brand through the hives. Whole, we're gonna take you through the whole process, from grafting larvae out of a breeder queen to actually putting a baby queen cell into a a what we call a baby nucleus hive, and we will start the process of raising queens right there. Awesome. Well, let's go do this, guys. Let's go. So, are you actually taking out the queens, or what are you doing with the the queen cells? This afternoon, we'll take these cells and break them off these bars and put them into a real small nuke box. It has a third of a pound of bees in it and two little small cones. You'll see that later. But yeah, these queen cells, we come to this stage, it all starts by you, you pull some of the brood larva out of a hive and you have to get the 72 hour old larva. It's an egg that just hatched. And you use a grafting tool to remove it from uh, a brood comb and you transplant it into one of these cell cups and this cell cup the size, the diameter and its vertical orientation uh, tells the bees to feed it more jelly which in turn results in a queen bee. Um, so you actually like change the cells so they're more likely to make a queen in yes. that cell. Yes, and we introduce this cell into a queenless environment so that the worker bees actually are trying to hurry to make a new queen. Okay. Um, so these bees don't have a queen? Well, the there's, a, there's a cloak board here. So what we do is we, there, there's an excluder and a uh, cloak board so that we can put a slide in that cuts off the contact from the top. The, the queen is below and we can make the bees up top believe that they're Queenless for a while. So they just think they don't have a queen. They have a queen, but they don't. They don't know it. Yes, but what's even better is we start the cells in these screen hives that are truly queenless. So the cells get started in a true queenless environment, and then we transplant them into another environment where these bees finish the cells. I see. Okay. So what are you adding into the hives? Syrup. Syrup. Yep. Into each one of them. Each one in a little black. Feed it. I'm gonna fill it up with syrup. Then we take, put a cell in here. You put a cell in there? We're gonna, we're gonna put a cell in there. We we'll put some bees in there. Close it up and start raising the queen. You have to feed them. They be hungry. <laughs> they just like you. You have to eat, so they have to eat too. You don't feed them, they'll die. And what kind of syrup is that? It's, it's like sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. Yep. So that kind of gets them started. Gets them uh, stimulate them. So these are like the like going to be like small hives on each side, right? Right. And once we take the paper out in three days, the bees will go back forward to their house. They know where their house at. Once the queen get out and mate, if the wind not real real high, she'll make it back home. But if the wind real high, it'll blow away. 
Or that just be a, a It'll queen? Blow away and she won't find her find her nest? No. The wind be too high. It'll blow away. And what if she make it back home though? She get in this, back in the house. She start laying eggs. Then 15 days, they go in there and they catch her. Then we put in a big hide. And she go from there and she go to work. But if the wind real, real high, we lose a lot of queen when the wind is high. Do you? Yeah, because the wind, it, they tend to blow them so far away, they can't make it back home, blow them too far. Wow. And see, the average rated for a queen is like two mile rated. So they, she can fly about two miles? Queen can fly about two miles? The average bee fly yeah. two miles north, south, east, and west. So Clint, what are you guys about to do here? Well, we got these bees out of a hive or several hives actually, uh, a couple days ago. They've been cooped up in what we call this, which is a screened hive. Oh, I bet we got syrup in there, don't we, boys? And what we're gonna do now, we shake all those bees off the comb. Got a feeder here. And we're gonna let them crawl up on the side they're gonna crawl up on the walls, then we're gonna take our little, our dipper cup. Where's the dipper cup at, JR? You know where? I know where they are. Do we have a dipper cup? I know where they are. Anyway, these guys are gonna crawl up, and then we're gonna take our little cup, which is about a third of a pound, and we're going to put them, put each, put a scoop in each one of these sides of the box which we'll show you in a second then we'll try like heck to raise the queen oh we're gonna have to keep our eyes on that bad boy they're oh, trying to get out big time wow these bees are really healthy see what i mean how they crawl up yeah they're crawling all over the place oh um, there are bees all oh, over guys all oh. over they are all over in the air, they are all over the on, the, on the guys, they are all missing. over. We're giving them a little water mist to keep them from flying too bad. Is that that prevents them from flying? Yeah, it wets their wings. And I got a bee in my pants. <laughs> oh no! Alright, these mugs are trying to get. You know what? That'll keep them from flying out. Give them a little mist every once in a while. Alright, who's covering? I got you. Aight. You mean covering with lids? Yeah. They're trying to fly right there. They are. Where am I going, Anna? Follow me and we're going to get down. Okay. Now these bees might be a little antsy. So watch your hands, alright, Charles? Alright. got some angry bees, too. They're angry bees. Why would they be angry? Because they've been scooped and cooped. And they don't have a queen, too, right? Right. And get a big old. Keep it helping. Put them in there. Here, I'll show you. Oh, no. Did y'all see a frame of cells earlier? Yeah. We got oh, that. The queen set. cell there. Oh, there's a queen cell on there. You have yeah. one in there. Yeah, yeah I was putting in there. That's You've it. already put a queen yeah. cell Plant, in there for them. Basically planting the seed. Ah. And then we put some bees in there. Like so. It's like Give you're them. working at an ice cream place here. Yeah. Yep. 31 flavors of bee sting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, JR. You want to help? Close. It's about to go rapid. It wouldn't be hard to keep up with these. Well, I'm not going that fast. The feeders are cogged over. Yeah, they're open. Sorry. And the bees are flying now. They treating you all right, Charles? Yeah, they. I, you ain't got no spray, Jr. Great. What? Famous last words, right? Somebody. Oh. There are bees flying all around me right now, guys. It's getting crazy up up. There they are, there are right down there. Getting really crazy here. Can't ball, we only got one spray ball? No, man, I brought all kinds of spray balls out here. 
I had a spray bottle in there from yesterday. I don't know what happened. I got it. There's two of them back there. Got it. How how far? You're way ahead, huh? Here, come help cover JR. We'll run those bad boys up and set. Mm -hmm. I'm going in an overdrive. <laughs> you gotta put the bees on the cells mm -hmm. in a Tell pretty quick way. manner of time because you want them to you wanna keep them warm. Oh, if the cells okay, get chilled, will they die? Oh, on the queen cells. I yeah. see, that's why you guys are moving yeah. so you gotta fast. Keep them you got to keep those queen cells warm. About 92, oh. 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah. So it's like, a, it's like a race with bees. Yeah. A race with tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of are stinging insects. I got the next one out. And if you're fast, you can leave two, two cover men in the back. Hey, you got to close those nukes. Close the feeders. Gotta close the feeders. What about this? One? I you didn't get it. I get it. I get it. You got glove hand. That's insane. That is a lot of bees. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at all those bees. <laughs> Somewhere near 25,000 bees in there. 25,000 bees in 20, there? About 25, maybe. Wow. There's a big old heaping helping. If they stay in there, they will them fly out. Some <laughs> are in the air. Did they fly out? No. Nah, nah, some not, some yeah. exaggeration. Not don't need any smart ass comments from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> can I say that? My bad, I'm sorry. You can say that. <laughs> I dropped the A-bomb. I might even put that in there if I feel <laughs> from a certain mood. Hey, you're talking to a man with a box full of bees, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. You're the guy with a box full of bees. <laughs> hey, there's your queen. I guess we should mark that accordingly. Or how about this? There's a big old mark called the plastic queen cage in that one, eh, yeah. Michael? That's the mark. Ready for the bounce down? What's the bounce down? No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>